Hi there folks and welcome to another Quarantine Trivia Short Round. My name's Sean, I'll be your quiz host again today. I uh, hope you're still enjoying them. If you've got any comments, any feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you've got any uh, topics you'd like to see a round done on in particular, again, let us know. We'll be happy to uh, see what we can do for you. Uh, but moving on to today's quiz, uh, today is going to be 60s music. So, um, get right into it. Question number one, true or false? Penny Lane is, a, is named after a real street in London. Now, hopefully you all know this, but Penny Lane is obviously a uh, famous Beatles song. So is Penny Lane named after a real street in London? Okay, question number two. What was the name of Tom Jones' first number one in 1965, later becoming a favourite of Carlton in Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Okay, so uh, what again, what was the name of Tom Jones' first number one in 1965, later becoming a favourite of Carlton in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Uh, I'm sure you find many videos of Carlton doing his Carlton dance uh, to this song. Okay, question number three. Uh, Mr. Tambourine Man was a big hit for the birds in 1965, but who wrote the song originally? Okay, so although it was a big hit for the birds, they weren't uh, the original writers of the song. Who was? Okay, question number four. Uh, who was the final performer at Woodstock in 1969? Okay, yeah, who was the final performer at Woodstock? Okay, Some great video of it. If you haven't seen it already, you definitely should. Okay, question number five. Name the song which starts with the lyrics, all the leaves are brown and the sky is grey. Okay, all the leaves are brown and the sky is grey. Obviously, I'm not going to sing it for you because I'm not much of a singer. Uh, but name the song that starts with those lyrics. Okay, at question number six. What was the name of the park that the Small Faces sang about in 1967? Okay, what was the name of the park that the Small Faces sang about in 1967? Okay, question number seven. Uh, who was going downtown in 1964? Okay, so which singer or which artist was going downtown? in 1964. Question number eight. Uh, which British group became the first to top the US singles chart? So obviously this happened in the 60s, we're in a 60s quiz. So which British group became the first to top the US singles chart? Okay, question number nine. Uh, which British band had the last US number one album of the, of the 1960s? So we're sticking with the Brits in the US again. Uh, so which British band had the last US number one album of the 1960s? Okay, so moving on, last question in the quiz, number 10. Uh, true or false, David Jones is Tom Jones' real name. Okay. Obviously, a lot of a lot of singers don't perform under their real name. Uh, so, true or false? David Jones is Tom Jones' real name. Okay. So that's is at the end of the questions. We'll move on to the answers in a moment or so. Uh, but I uh, just want to say as well, before we move on, if you do need any more time, just feel free to pause uh, the video or you know, rewind. It's it's not a set time quiz really, so you just sit here for a bit of fun. Uh, but if you if you are ready, we're going to move on. Uh, just before we do that, though, I'll do, do my little uh, sales pitch. So we are providing all these for free. Um, but if you do find that you know you've got a you know a pound or a dollar or so in your pocket extra because you're not travelling, you're not going out socialising. Uh, if you want to make a donation to charity, there's a URL up at the top left here, kidsneededucation.org. Uh, that is for the Alcal Foundation here in Phnom Penh in Cambodia. It provides the only free primary school in the whole of the city, um, basically in a country where 
a lot of people are very, very poor, can't afford to uh, send their children to school. This uh, charity provides a free school uh, for as many children as can, where every um, everything is provided for the children. Okay. Um, and the other thing as well, the other URL there is quarantinetrivia.seanholroyd.com. That's the homepage of Quarantine Trivia. Um, you can find other old, uh, other quizzes there, um, previous quizzes, uh, other ones you haven't seen. We were also found on Facebook at facebook.com slash quarantine triv. And we've got our YouTube channel. So if you can give us a, a like, a share, a follow, a subscribe, it would all be very much appreciated. Okay, so moving on to the answers then. Uh, so question number one. True or false, Penny Lane is named after a real street in London. Well, that is false. It is a street in Liverpool. Obviously the Beatles coming from Liverpool, so that one makes sense. Question number two. What was the name of Tom Jones' first number one in 1965, later becoming a favourite of Carlton in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Well, that was It's Not Unusual. Okay. Question number three. Mr. Tambourine Man was a big hit for the birds in 1965, but who wrote the song originally? Well, that was Bob Dylan. Okay. Uh, number four. Who was the final performer at Woodstock in 1969? That was the legendary Jimi Hendrix. Okay. Uh, question number five, uh, name the song that starts with the lyrics, all the leaves are brown and the sky is grey. That was California Dreamin' by the Mamas and the Papas. Okay, great song, it's one of my favourites. Question number six, uh, what was the name of the part the Small Faces sang about in 1967? Well that was Ichiku Park. Okay. Almost felt we could do a, a, a sub uh, genre, a sub quiz here with the, all the questions that they sang in the song. What what did you see there? Uh, what did you do there? Yeah, apparently they got high. Very bad behaviour, especially in an open park like that. But what, what can you do? Okay, question number seven. So who was going downtown in 1964? Well, that was Petula Clark. Okay. Question number eight. Which British group became the first to top the US singles charts? Okay, so that was the Tornadoes with Telstar in December 1962. Well done if you got that. I personally wouldn't have got it. I would have I would have made an assumption like the Beatles, and I'm guessing there's maybe a few out there that have as well. So, uh, question number nine. Uh, which British band had the last US number one album of the 1960s? Well, that was Led Zeppelin with their album Led Zeppelin 2. Okay. And finally, question number 10. True or false, David Jones is Tom Jones' real name? Well, that is false. It's actually David Bowie's real name. Or however you want to pronounce it. Bowie, Bowie. Um, but yeah, it's Dave, David Bowie's real name. So he, he wasn't performing under David Jones. Or... David Bowie for quite a while, he then became Ziggy Stardust and all, all sorts, but David Bowie. So here we go. So that is the end of the quiz. Thank you very much for taking part. Again, please like, follow, share or subscribe uh, for more trivia content. As before, you can find us at facebook.com slash quarantinetriv or quarantinetrivia.seanholroyd.com uh, and you can also uh, keep up to date by uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel. Okay, so thank you very much and goodbye.